Here is some footage from the scenes shot in the Stockholm archipelago, included in the light and happy memories the professor has of his childhood. And once again, the cinematographer Gunnar Fischer. And here some of the actors have gathered in front of the house in the film where the professor spent the summers of his childhood. And this is Bibi Andersson as Isaks cousin Sara, together with Per Sjöstrand who plays Siegfried, the cousin that won Sara's heart. It's always fascinating to see familiar places from famous black and white films suddenly appear in color, as in this kind of behind the scenes footage. Members of cast and crew have accounted for the happy and good-hearted atmosphere that prevailed during the shooting of Wild Strawberries. And here we once again have Gunnar Fischer. When Fischer began working as a cameraman at Svensk Film Industry in the 1930s, he had legendary cinematographer Julius Jansson as his mentor and tutor. Julius Jansson was one of the most distinguished of all cinematographers during the silent era, and he was behind the camera on some of the most classic Swedish silent films, among them of course The Phantom Chariot directed by Sjöström. The Phantom Chariot was incidentally the first film shot at Svensk Film Industries Rosunda Studios, when they were ready to take in use in the spring of 1920. The shooting of Wild Strawberries was completed by the end of August in 1957 and the film opened at Christmas later the same year at the Reda Kvarn Theatre in Stockholm. Wild Strawberries received rave reviews by Swedish critics and it was also tremendously successful abroad, winning the Golden Bear at the Berlin Film Festival in 1958. And the film's reputation has continued to grow ever since and it is now widely regarded as not only being among Bergman's best achievements, but indeed as one of the best films ever made.